Hi, today I'm going to show you this Canon F1, how the light meter works for this unit. So later on, when I show you the viewfinder, you will notice a circle and you will notice there's a line. So when the line and the circle interlap, it means that it's in, well, it's in a well-exposed region. So uh, yeah, I will show you the viewfinder so this concept will be more clear for you. Alright, so you can see the viewfinder for the Canon F1. You can see there's a number there. So when I turn the upper the shutter down, the number will actually change. You can see. You see? Yeah, I really like these uh, analog cameras where oh uh, there's actually a mechanical mechanism to show the change in number in a fully mechanical way. So as you see when I change the shutter down, the shutter speed, you can see the line actually will move up and down, you see? See? Alright, so the point of the, ch I mean, why it shows you the changing levels is that when you set the shutter speed one, for example, this time I'm going to put it at 2000, then uh, when I turn the aperture, the ring will actually will change the position, you see? You can see the ring changing position. You can see the ring changing position, right? See? See? So when the ring, see when the ring actually interlap with the line, it means that it's, it's uh, how say, it's well exposed in the sense. You can still do some micro adjustments based on the decision you make for the picture itself. See? So when I, the higher f-stop number will be up, the lower will be down. So if you want bokeh, then it will be like the down regions. But yeah, there you go. This is how the light meter works on the Canon F1. Alright. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And thank you so much, Aaron, for dropping by. See you guys next time. Bye. God bless.